Hi, 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 everybody. Welcome back and happy Thursday. All right, guys, we're back to talk some ish. Get into this because we have some finale spoilers and also some girl power love. I'm all about it. I love some good girl power ish. Anyways, we're going to get into it right now. So if you have not already, go ahead and pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, um, I guess we just confirmed we will be going live for Hot Messy Topics tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. So that'll be amazing. Can't wait. Let's do this shit. What's wrong with you, bitch? It's like I, I'm drinking water. Like legit water. I'm drinking water. Not coffee. But I just have so much energy. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're going to get into this right now because we have the New Jersey spoilers, the finale spoiler. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Margaret Joseph teased that, I guess, the reveal of bombs and a sneak peek at the upcoming Real Housewives of New Jersey finale. And a new report is now revealing what that bomb was, with the source adding that it may not have been as impactful as she'd hoped. Now, following the release of a sneak peek at this Sunday's episode in which Margaret told Jen Fessler that Jackie Goldschneider was dead to her and announced that she would be dropping some bombs at their upcoming cast dinner, a source revealed what the bomb was. Marge's big bomb that she's purporting is that Jackie had spoken to Louis's ex, is what a source revealed to OK Magazine on July 30th. Marge was convinced that this would create a wedge between Teresa and Jackie and cause their new found friendship to fall apart. Sadly for Marge, it did just the opposite. Teresa knew that she had done something bad to Jackie years ago with the Evan Goldschneider affair rumors and completely understood why Jackie would have reacted that way at the time. Now, according to the insider, while Teresa did not get upset with Jackie, she did turn on Margaret. She had presented evidence that she was speaking to Louisa, and she was not happy with this at all, and unleashed on Margaret. Margaret may have thought she was dropping some bombs, but Teresa definitely finished the war. Now, as for what Margaret's alleged bombs entailed, she said in a cast confessional in the sneak peek, if Jackie thought the texts were bad that I revealed to Dolores, just you wait. So as New Jersey fans may have heard, the cast assembled for a watch party of the finale in place of the reunion, which will air as a special in August. But however, after the taping of the special, the cast was said to have been left dumbfounded after noticing that a key detail of the finale was cut out of the episode. While it was alleged that Danielle Cabral threw a glass pitcher at Jennifer Aiden, who had gotten physical with her earlier this season during the cast dinner, the incident and what caused it was reportedly not included. As for what's next for the divided cast, which was separated into two groups at the watch party, Andy Cohen said that the show should be rebooted, potentially with all fresh faces, on an episode of his Sirius XM radio show earlier this week. Have you heard that we're going to do big changes to the show? We are rebooting the show. We're going to do something different, is what he teased. Yeah, we know, Mr. Cohen. We know. We feel you. We understand you. We hear you. We know everything that you finna say. But do we believe it? I guess that's more so up to you guys. I don't know. Sometimes I believe some shit. Sometimes I don't believe some shit. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. A lot of times, though, especially with Bravo, it's a lot of teasing. It's like... What the fuck is happening? I just always feel like it's a big tease. Anyways, let's move on to the girl power of it all. But if that is, in fact, the big smoke gun, I think that the reason that Teresa would not give a shit that Jackie Goldschneider talked to Louis X, because I think that they've all, probably except for Dolores, talked to Louis X um, and Jen Aiden. I do agree with the fact that... it. Teresa stirred up a lot of shit with Jackie's husband, so she would probably be a little bit understanding on that. But then also, 
Teresa is not going to be more upset about anything that's told to her, whether it's receipts, proof, timeline, anything like that, than she is with Margaret already. So even if Margaret thinks that she's coming in with a big smoking gun, it's not going to land. Like, the plane will not land. She's not landing the plane. Because why? Well, Teresa's not going to give a shit. She's just not. Not going to care. But let's move on. So bringing it over to our girls, Ariana Maddox and Sheena Shea. Ariana praised Sheena for helping so many people with her OCD advocacy. After Sheena recently suggested that they weren't as close following their awkward season on Vanderpump Rules, Sheena also addressed rumors that she could switch to the cast of The Valley, a spinoff focusing on parents. Now, last season on Vanderpump Rules, Sheena shared that she has OCD. She also had tension with Ariana as Sheena was battling her desire to stay friends with Ariana's ex, Tom Sandoval, who cheated on her. But in a July 29th Instagram post, Sheena announced that she received IOC, DF's, Illumination Award for OCD Advocacy. And in the comments, Ariana offered her support, saying, Congratulations. It took so much strength for you to share and be vulnerable, and it helped so many people. But during an... Well, I'm just... I'm Hold on. Before we get to that, what she wrote in the post, Sheena, it said, This past weekend was truly an honor. I received the Illumination Award from at IOCDF for my advocacy on OCD and mental health. I never could have imagined that I would be recognized with an award on behalf of something that is actively working against me in my own head on a daily basis. After attending some of the seminars with my amazing husband, Brock, and seeing how much amazing work this foundation does for so many people struggling, I'm so proud to say I'm officially a member of this community. I will do my best to continue to advocate for those who have faced those thoughts and beat them and those who faced those thoughts and sought help. I want to urge those who feel alone to say something and speak up. Too often we suffer in silence with only our worst fears for company. And I'm so proud to bring this mental health issue out into the light where it belongs. Thank you to everyone who attended. It made me feel accepted and so loved. But during an episode of her podcast, Shenanigans, last month, Sheena addressed her strained relationship with Ariana following Vanderpump Rules season 11, saying, I'm hoping with some time passing that we can get back to being the Spice Girls and maybe a long road to that. She shared, adding that things have been really difficult to navigate following this season. In more news, Sheena addressed the Vanderpump Rules hiatus and for the first time since it began, the show will not be filming during the summer, and it's unclear when or if it will return. I just went to London, and the sun was out, and I've never been in London when the sun is shining. To be able to vacation in the summer is really nice. Sheena hinted that conversations have been made about potentially filming again, but the show hasn't made any official decisions. And The Valley just started filming, so I can live vicariously through my Valley friends for the drama. But it's nice to have a summer off. Sheena then addressed speculation that she and Lala could cross over to the new show because of her parents, and she said, we'll see. Hmm. The thing is with the Valley, these are my actual friends as well, and this is my real friend group, and those are more of my parent friends, and Vanderpump Rules are more of my party friends. But Janet Caperna, also present in the interview, teased the new season's drama and said, we're in the midst of it, and I think it's going to be crazy. It's going to be good and also bad. Guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I don't know why I'm so crazy. But I love you guys, and we'll see you next time.